Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be teaching about the solution polymerization technique. In the last class, we started with the polymerization technique, uh, I mean method of preparation of different type of polymer like addition polymers, condensation polymers, right? So in the last class, we studied about the bulk polymerization technique, okay? So in this uh, class, we'll be discussing about the solution polymerization technique and this is also for uh, the addition polymers okay if you want to get the addition polymer this is also another methods okay so in this method we will see so there will be work you know wait a minute so there will be a container okay okay so imagine that this is some container okay and in this container you will be taking a solvent okay you will be taking a solvent okay uh, while in the previous uh, case bulk polymerization there was uh, no use of solvent right only the monomer and the initiator but here only difference we find is the use of solvent okay this is solvent and remember whatever the solvent you have taken no, that must be uh, inert okay it should not react with the monomer okay it is an inert solvent organic solvent okay now after uh, adding solvent to the beaker then what you need to do is you need to add the monomer okay so monomer is added okay monomer now remember here monomer can be of a solid state or can be in the liquid state okay while in the previous case bulk polymerization our monomer was present in the liquid state correct here since we are using a solvent so monomer can be a solid state or in the liquid state okay whenever you add monomer to this um, solvent you need to stir it okay so that monomer get uh, dissolved completely in the, in the solvent okay once you add the monomer and once it is completely dissolved in the solvent then what you need to do is you need to add the initiator and once again the initiator is also soluble in the solvent you have taken okay the initiator is also soluble in the solvent okay but solvent is the inert organic solvent that is inert towards the initiator or the monomer okay now what you need to do is you need to keep stir the reaction mixture okay you need to stir the reaction mixture and once again here also you can uh, uh, initiate the reaction either by heat or you can uh, you know do it by the help of light uv radiations okay heat or light okay by means of these heat or light you can initiate the reaction between what initiator and a monomer okay and you need to keep stirring okay and once the reaction proceeds between initiator and a monomer what is generated the heat is generated because we know the reaction between the initiator and a monomer is what it is an exothermic process and as a result the heat of the reaction mixture increases but here there is no problem of rate of the reaction while in case of bulk polymerization we observe that because of generated heat what happened to the reaction rate it increased correct but here as we are using the solvent the heat can be controlled easily okay because this solvent is there no that will absorb the uh, you know extra heat that is generated okay it will act like a trapping agent okay trapping agent okay whatever the heat generated will be trapped by the solvent and hence temperature control of this system become easier and also here stirring is not difficult okay in the case of bulk polymerization we observed that because of uh, you know increase in the viscosity of the reaction the stirring of uh, the reaction mixture was difficult but here it is not difficult because what is helping solvent is helping okay the, since we are adding the solvent no so that will uh, reduce the viscosity rise in the solution okay or in the mixture okay it will uh, do many work that is it is acting like what trapping agent it will uh, help in the heat control of the reaction mixture and as a result what happened to the reaction rate or polymerization rate it will also be controlled and also viscosity rise is also 
controlled by the use of inert solvent okay and remember so whatever the polymer you get now by the reaction of this uh, initiator and the monomer that is also soluble in a solvent okay let me clear this so what did i say the polymer the polymer is obtained in the liquid state okay so remember uh, by the reaction of uh, monomer and the initiator you will get a polymer no that is also in the liquid state and once again it is soluble in what solvent okay solvent soluble okay solvent soluble polymer is obtained in this case okay it can be used as such this polymer is there no which is in the liquid state I means it is uh, present along with the solvent that is why it is in the liquid state okay it can be used as such it is used in uh, varnishers adhesives okay it can be used in varnishers or it can also be used as adhesive adhesives okay so if you want to get the dry polymer means uh, you need to remove all the solvent uh, uh, solvent from the polymer then only you will uh, end up with the dry polymer right so that is very difficult to obtain by this method okay in order to get the dry polymer it is necessary to remove the solvent from that polymer but it is an uh, uh, you know additional task it is not at all easy another equipment is required to remove the uh, solvent right so it is very difficult to get the dry polymer by this method but whatever the polymer you get now in the liquid state that can be used as such okay but now we will look into the advantages and the disadvantage of this solution polymerization technique okay now uh, we have the disadvantage first okay now i as i already said it is very difficult to get the pure polymer why because whatever the polymer you get no that is present along with the solvent okay it is dissolved in a solvent if you want to get the pure polymer what you need to do you need to remove the solvent but it is a difficult task that is why you cannot get the pure polymer as well as it is very difficult to get the dry polymer by this method okay now it is a costly method why it is costly method okay solution polymerization technique is a costly method because whatever the organic solvent you use no the whatever the organic solvent you use that is costlier okay the solvent is being a costlier the method become costly okay the uh, uh, solution polymerization technique become costlier because of the solvent used okay well now next is uh, polymer of higher molecular weight uh, molecular weight cannot be obtained okay so that is also one of the disadvantage by using this solution polymerization you always end up with the polymer of lower molecular weight okay why because the reason is once again a solvent okay the solvent will uh, sometime act like a chain terminator okay it act like a chain terminator as a result of that you know you cannot end up with the polymer of high molecular weight okay you always end up with the lower molecular weight product okay and this point is already explained it is difficult to get the dry polymer okay these are all the disadvantage of what the solution polymers now coming back to the advantage of that okay the solution polymerization technique involves the use of solvent right so which solvent is used usually the organic inert solvents are used correct so that is acting like a diluent okay means it is acting like a thinner okay and uh, the solvent will allow easy stirring because uh, it is as uh, used as what diluent it means uh, the uh, reaction mixture is uh, diluted correct because of presence of solvent and once it is uh, diluted the stirring become easier okay the stirring of that reaction mixture is easier because of presence of solvent and once again the viscosity rises negligible why because of solvent okay the solvent will help in the viscosity reduction okay and once again it is helping in the temperature control okay because we know that the reaction between the uh, monomer and the initiator is being what exothermic heat get generated and that heat is absorbed by the solvent in the reaction mixture 
and hence the temperature control become easier okay and it also help in the removal of polymer okay it is also facilitate the ease of removal of polymer from the reactor okay a reaction uh, vessel is there no from there uh, you get the polymer uh, which is uh, in the liquid state means polymer is dissolved in a solvent means the removal of the uh, uh, polymer become easier uh, by the presence of solvent in that uh, polymer okay so these are all the advantages of uh, what solution polymers okay and uh, this is the disadvantages okay it is difficult to get the pure polymer costly method and the high molecular weight polymer cannot be obtained and difficult to get the dry polymer okay this is the disadvantage of solution polymers okay if you have any doubt regarding this video please let me know in the comment section okay and if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe and um, uh, share the video okay please like okay please like and uh, also subscribe okay thank you